You're right, guys. It's Hankan7 here. And today, you know what I'm playing? Tekken 3. Probably the most popular Tekken uh, game. Pretty much, obviously, in the franchise. Everybody loves this game. Obviously, the time this game came out, in the uh, console, 1998, obviously, I was born. Uh, you can kind of guess what age I am. So, also, I'm, uh, I'm playing as my favourite character, because Jin Kazama. Which is, obviously, in this game, because you is obviously not in the game. Due to, obviously, what happened in the events of Tekken 2. I mean, obviously, uh... Didn't because uh, he was thrown into the uh, volcano, obviously. So obviously instead we got uh, Jim, which is obviously born. Is obviously the same uh, so, uh, person that was born to uh, Jim Kazama, which is obviously the mother. So, yeah. so obviously I, I'm playing this on very hard, as you can see by the title of the. Uh, well, yeah, the the title of the uh, video. So it's on the hardest difficulty. So there's no excuse. People are saying, "Oh, you suck at this game, whatever." Because I've been getting a lot of comments, you know. Yeah, also there's going to be haze and there's going to be uh, lovers as well. So obviously guys, if you like what you're saying so far, seen so far, don't forget to obviously subscribe to my channel. Um, if you don't mind, or at least like this video. If, if you dislike this video, I really don't mind to be fair. It gives me obviously feedback on what I should do next. Obviously Tekken 3 is obviously... The first time I played Tekken 3 was at a person's house. I can't... I, actually, I do remember this person, but I don't want to reveal it to you. Anyway, yeah. Yeah, you won't know. Yeah, I played Tekken 3 in that house on the PlayStation or the PS1. The slim version of the PlayStation uh, 3. No, not 3. Slim version of the PlayStation 1. So, yeah. I love this stage. What well, they did in Tekken Tag Tournament, uh, the original one, which I love Tekken Tag Tournament. It's pretty much when I was younger, in my childhood. All we played, my, my siblings and me, my brother and sister. What we played was Tekken 4. That's all we had. Tekken 4. And, um, before we actually got the final game. Well, the actual real game. We used to play on a demo on the, uh, the PlayStation 2 demo. A demo disc. Back in the day, we used to... Our PlayStation 2 demo disc is used to like this blue demo disc. That plays all these trailers and obviously gives you, like, a little snippet of what, uh, the game it is like. Before it obviously goes to, uh... You only have a certain amount of time before it goes back to the menu. And that was a lot of them. They used to come in PlayStation magazines. Anyway, we obviously play own the demo of, uh, what's it called? Uh, Tekken 4. And the best part of it was, like, you get to play, like, two characters, which was Christine and Paul. Christine and Paul, I I'm guessing. Obviously, with, obviously, Christine's obviously the first uh, time he she entered the... Uh, King of Iron Fist and Tekken 4. Obviously, we've got newcomers in Tekken 3 as well. As well as Jin Kazam making his debut. Also, others making their debut like Gun Jack. Um, I believe Brian Fury's another one. And maybe yeah, Julia's another one as well. So, yeah. But obviously, playing this in the late nights, I wouldn't know. You know yeah, I was, I was obviously a little kid. I was a child, I was a baby. But then, obviously, it's so great to be alive and. Know that you're born in the late night is a pretty awesome one. Anyway, here we go. Nina obviously is a very annoying character. I don't like this character at all. Well, I didn't really mind her back in the day. I used to just dislike this character because the way she moves and everything. And then my first like time I ever played against her, she used to do all these throws and that. Oh, I remember the time where like in Tekken 4, me and my brothers were playing it. And we used to, every single time Jin Kazama would come up or uh, Kazuya, it used to be like, oh, it's Tekken, the actual name, we actually thought the name of the uh, game was actually called, was actually, um, Gino Kazuya, it was really funny though, until somebody went to somebody's house and all right, you can unlock all these people, um, me and my brother obviously played the three story mode back in the day, this was like 03, 04, 05, and then finally, yeah, and the funniest part of it is, I'm, I'm not going on and on, but the funniest part of it is, is, um, what made me laugh the most is when you look at you see if you look at the European version, a Tekken Four, um, and she just spit some marsh. That woman spit. <laughs> some, I don't know where that hell that came from. Obviously, you look at um, Jin on the front cover. My brother's like he's black, but you know, yeah, but he's actually Japanese, but you know. So anyway, yeah, I'm going through all these guys like um, as if they obviously are dust. Harong's not going to stand a chance at all. And this is his first Tekken game as well. And Harang is a very, very, very strong character, especially hmm, it's over for you if he obviously gets those kicks and a very, very dangerous character. So obviously he's replacing, I believe he's replacing Betu-san. 
in this game. Uh, back obviously from Tekken 2. And obviously the most realistic um, version of Back before, well, not really, but after Tekken 3. Because obviously in the PlayStation 1, you couldn't see their faces for some reason. Obviously the real, most realistic, obviously the first PlayStation 2 game, that was the Tekken game that came out, was the Tekken Tag Tournament that like, owned that game back in the day. Uh, in the late uh, 2000s, like 2009. Uh, so I'll do this uh, story once before. Obviously when I was going to... Uh, I was really, really young in 2009. Um, they used to sell a game station when in the UK. Obviously, they called it Game Station. They used to sell uh, two, three games or four games for ten quid, which is very cheap. I picked up Tekken Three. I mean, sorry, Tekken Tag Tournament, the original one for PS2 because I had a PS2 back then. I brought it on, had me down the PlayStation 2, and I loved it. It was a really good game as well. I obviously was playing Tekken uh, Four at the time as well. So yeah. Um. Wow, Brian's a very, very strong character. But, you know, my favorite will always be Jin Kazuya. You know, yeah. I could never, ever, I'm not good of anybody else. Ah, oh, there's Quick Jabs. I love it. Brian Fu is such a monstrous character. If you knew how to use him properly, he would destroy you quick. So, yeah. And it's funny how, obviously, they switched his laugh in Tekken, uh, this Tekken game. You should use them before. <laughs> As if it's virtually a fight or something like that. But you keep the same sound effects all the time, so yeah. But anyway, yeah, look at this game. You actually imagine uh, this game does nothing. Well, not this is off subject, but you know, kind of. But this game looks like crap, I'm telling you. Um, but this game must have been looked sick back in the nineties, you know, compared to games that came out like earlier, like Tekken or Dead Alive uh, Three. Came out in two thousand one, but that was the power of the Xbox. So, yeah. Anyway, I'm against Eddie now. Eddie's like the uh, Bruce Lee. Co well, not Bruce Lee. Co He's like the Capoeira master. Obviously, Christy replaces him, and yeah, he actually knows something. There's obviously like two secret characters in the uh, Tekken Four, two or three. Not only Panda share. Oh my goodness, my basket, my ass kicked. Not only Panda obviously shows us the same. Uh, what do you call it? Not only Panda. Um, like he's still, like the same slot in Tekken 4. I'm not saying Tekken 4 is if it's a lovely or something like that. I'm just telling you how it is. No, I'm not writing a lovely about Tekken 4, but no. I'm just telling you. Anyway, yeah, and Eddie Gordo is obviously a selectable character as it was in this game, Tekken 3. Um, there's a way you can obviously unlock Eddie's uh, other clone, which is Tiger Jackson, which is this like 70s, 80s kind of guy with the afro. I don't even know if he's Brazilian, but no. Because Eddie and uh, Christie is Brazilian. A lot of people get it wrong and call them Jamaicans, but you know, they're Brazilian people. Anyway, yeah. In Tekken 4, you get obviously Mahiru Hirano or something like that. Uh, Ling Xiaoyu's friend. You also get the school costume for Ling Xiaoyu as well. As well as obviously. Uh, watch this fight. Literally, King almost ended me. Uh, I got. Well, I didn't really get lucky because lucky, luck is for losers, bro. You know, yeah. So here we go, I'm going to take on, uh, obviously, what was I trying to say before? You get like a secret character, and um, what do you call that game? Tekken 4. <laughs> uh, you get Maharu, which is obviously Ling Xiaoyu's friend, and obviously you get Eddie Gore as well. If you complete the whole game and then press the triangle button, obviously she, she's selectable. Well, obviously, for some reason you get the same end, well, when you play against, uh, when you're Eddie Gordo and you play against other characters, you finish the story mode right, you obviously get um, the same pretty, pretty much cutscene at the end of obviously the game. So yeah. but when, apart from that, it's a pretty sound game. Anyway. The Tekken 3, obviously, not really the best uh, fighting game. Obviously, Tekken 3 is obviously up there. Especially, oh, watch this. He almost finished me. Like, is she fault? This guy, also one of the comment section back on YouTube. It was like the guy folds, you know, like folding clothes and whatever he said. So it's like folding clothes and like inside another clothes. This time, but watch this. I literally almost lost him. Exactly, King. You got served, bro. But anyway, um, okay, hey Hachi, uh, yep. Yeah. Well, anyway, Tekken Tag Tournament, the original Tekken Tag Tournament from the PlayStation 2. It was obviously the upgrade version of this game here, pretty much. But they were pretty much expanded. They brought all the Tekken 2 characters back with Tekken 3 and Tekken 1. 
Um, also, obviously, the, the reason why I can actually imagine if they're able to bring this game back uh, and remake it, all the classic Tekken games, well, they won't be able to get back gone. There's obviously this orange dinosaur kind of character with the big eyes and you can't kick him or punch him, or you can kick him or you can't punch him or do a high kick. He's that small, but you know, yeah. Anyway, I've got to remind you guys, if obviously if you're liking what you've seen so far and you want to see more Tekken 3, don't forget to obviously comment down below. Any game you want me to play from the PlayStation 1 games days or anything, from the PlayStation 2 uh, days. I've even got Dead Alive running up. Uh, I've got like a very strong PC. I've even got Dead Alive obviously uh, up there. Even though I've owned Dead Alive 3, I've already done two consoles on my Xbox Series S. I've got Dead Alive uh, 3, 4, and uh, 2, and 1. And my 360, which I haven't played in years, and it's Gathering Dust. I obviously haven't played, obviously, the play Xbox as well. Um, yeah, pretty much. Here comes Ogre, the, obviously, the uh, the main uh, antagonist of this game, the main bad guy. Which I don't have a problem beating this guy. But, <laughs> like, Ogre is obviously a very, very tough character, though. Like, no one could beat this guy apart from pretty much Jin could beat him. Because uh, he beat the, uh, if you read the story of the line of Tekken 3, obviously, he beats him. Uh, pretty much at the end, he actually transforms into true ogre. And then Paul Phoenix obviously beats the ancient ogre, well, the original form of ogre, which is the ancient ogre, which is obviously an alien kind of like whatever you want to call it. Obviously, brought down, I don't know. I, I know the Tekken uh, storyline, but you know, yeah. So, pretty much, this guy's just turned into a massive beast, pretty much. His next form, look at that, kicks. And if you're wondering why he's doing all these moves, Obviously, because he stole from character King. Obviously, he killed obviously some of the characters, like King, the original King, and obviously, uh, uh, no, I'm the King of Tom Hill, Um One of the characters too, like Bruce Irvin's moves are in there, and everything. Obviously, Bruce Irvin's not in this game. But anyway, yeah, it's Han Can Seven. I'll see you in the next video, bro. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell. This is obviously Chin Kazam's ending. Hmm. It is.